So here we are again, another paint pour, another paint pouring day. And uh, today you can see I've got a, a black canvas and these are the colors. <clears throat> and today is going to be a canvas restoration project. I have been told by an art critic that the word in the terminology do over is uh, not appropriate in the art world. Apparently a do over is something my grandchildren do when they're playing a video game and uh, don't do it right and they get wiped out. They hit the do over button and they just come back and keep doing it over and over until they get it right. Uh, so we will call this from now on a canvas restoration piece. I think it does sound more professional, doesn't it? So with that, I've got the background blackened out. I will put some more black on it and got my paints mixed up. And then we, this is going to be a, a Dutch, uh, Dutch pour, uh, hurricane blow. And I will be back as soon as I get it all set up and ready to go. Looking forward to this. And I hope you enjoy this little video and we have fun together. Be right back. Right you are. Here we are. And I'm ready to lay down some paint. I'm going to try a little different approach this time on the uh, uh, laying down the colors for the Dutch, the Dutch pour. I'm going to kind of do something up here and kind of work here and then work my way that way instead of doing it all at once uh, just to see what happens which is always a good thing when you're trying new experiments so let me just lay some white down here and then a touch of purple and I made the paint a little bit thick today uh, trying something doing there too and we'll see how this blows out yes we will so there's those two colors really let's count them Richard one two three good counting and we'll come up with some more white. Now the problem with this little idea is that I'm going to have to move stuff out of the way as I blow because as you know I have the hurricane blower and it is dangerous. All right. All righty and I got my back shoot back splashes up front and back. And I'm going to try this uh, tip and see what we end up with. I've got two other tips over here I may try today. So, all right. It's on cool, it's on low, and away we go. There's one. Told you I was just going to do a little bit at a time. All right. That's clever. So far, so good. Let's go back with some more white. And this one is going to be over here. Yes. And let's see. I am going to make this one, this blue, put the paint over there, and a touch of purple. It got hot up here. The weather is beautiful in Washington State. At least it is for us today. I think our lockdown phase of life is winding down. At least most of the normal people aren't buying it anymore and they're doing, carrying it on with their life. Uh, ooh, what do you call that? I call that a big, big mistake, Dick. Uh, oh well, I wasn't paying attention. Here we go. Well, for heaven's sakes. What, do I have a pigeon on my shoulder doing messes that I'm not watching? Uh, okay. Top it off with some white 
and let's try a different let's try a different uh, head on it. Let's try this guy. That's this one here. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Gentle, gentle. Okay, I don't like that head. That head sucks. I'm going back to this one. Here we go. darn I may have something on my hands here that is a uh, a worthwhile canvas restoration piece let me get out my uh, blowtorch got a few bubbles Ooh, got those bad boys I've got some snot liquors there which are probably should scrape those off and put some black in their place I'll be darn. Looking good, boys and girls. Looking good. Uh, I know what I can do. I can. No, I'll tell you what, before I make a big mess, let me get out Magic Straw. See what Magic Straw can do here. about these guys that's pretty good I'll just whoa here's one up here oh that's pretty okay I'm just going to scrape that one off and we'll for heaven's sakes you know put a little black back on there oh. wow this is going fast today okay I do believe we have ourselves a successful pour. I may do a little bit of fiddling, look for some more bumps. I don't see any poly, well, yeah, there's a few polywogs I can get my number two pencil on. I'll take the back drops down. And just in case you were curious, yes, I do blow paint. That's just why I've got the screen there. <laughs> uh, clever, old people get clever a given time. Okay, I'm turning this off. <clears throat> and uh, clean up the work area so we can look at the picture onto itself and I will be back so there you have it I'm gonna call this uh, pretty much completed I did a little fiddling not much uh, in fact not much at all I, I got the mini the little little blower out and did a couple of leaf extensions or whatever but for the most part this is uh, this is my style of Dutch blow, Dutch pour is an RB blow. I, it doesn't turn like everybody else's, but the colors are pretty. And uh, apparently my dog in the background enjoys it. Yes, good job, dog. Anyway, I'll uh, wrap this up. I'll take the camera down and we'll take a close up. 
and call this a pretty darn successful, what do we call it? Yes, Canvas Restoration. This is R.B. Richard saying I'll be back in a moment with the final review. Well, here we are. Uh, I've finished in record time, and I will uh, bring bring this in a little slowly so you can see some of the, the fun color uh, swirling, the, the dynamics of paint boring. Uh, we've got a little of everything going there. We've got a little lacing and little fuzzies and mixing. And I think it turned out all right. I think when it dries, uh, I'll be I'll be pleased with it. And we can turn it upside down or sideways and see which way presents itself the best. But for the moment, I'm calling this a good pour, a good restoration, and I can move on to something something new in a different size canvas uh, the next couple of days and see what what develops. So this is Richard B. saying thanks for watching. See you next time.